Great. My name is Zaidehi and uh, I am here from Steerme. All right. Steerme is a very uh, simple concept. You basically can connect with mentors from different colleges, different fields, uh, like architecture, like SPA Vijayawada and so on. And you can talk to them freely about... One minute. Uh, yeah. And you can talk to them freely about... Um, college admissions, career guidance, any help you need from like a bada bhaiya or sister or anything like that and you can get it. Okay, it's a very simple app. Uh, we will send out the link in the bio to you so that you can uh, link in the chat to you so that you can go through it and talk to a mentor if you want to. We also have a very interesting thing for all JE aspirants who uh, gave JE this year. You can go out there and see if you uh, would get any good, uh, you know, college from JE counseling or not. I sent that link also in the chat. So you can go through and share it with your friends. All of this is 100% free for all students. Um, you know, all of our mentors, we are more than 300 mentors on Me right now. And all of them are really motivated to help out students like you figure out your career choices. So do avail the services because you will not, you don't, you do not get it anywhere else. All right. I would suggest all of you. To I would suggest all of you to stay on mute. And uh, if any of your friends are also interested to join the session, you can send the Zoom link to them. Okay, and they can join via Zoom. Uh, we will entertain all of your questions in the question and answer session that we will have at the end. All right. Uh, without further ado, we'll quickly get started. And Nirvan, it would be great if you can introduce yourself once. All right. Uh, thank you, Vaidhi. Uh, first of all, welcome to Steer Me, uh, uh, all about architecture and planning. Uh, is it? I think there's an issue. What happened? Yeah, it's working well, no? First of all, yeah, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, as why the uh, rightly mentioned, I'll add a few points. My name is Nirwan. I'm a student of School of Planning and Architecture, uh, Vijayawada. I'm in my final year now, uh, almost ready to fight the unemployment wala competition. Uh, but okay, just joke. Uh, uh, apart from that, I'm the General Secretary for NOSPLAN, which is an organization dedicated for uh, student activity of students of planning across the country. Uh, and again, I'm a mentor at Steerme. As for my, this is basically what I am on a formal uh, letter-based thing. But uh, as a person, I love traveling, set, sketching, photography, dramatics, writing, research is one of my uh, main aims for future. And uh, again, being part of Steerme. So basically, the reason I am here and I want to talk it out with people is not just the part on the left side of my profile, but also how the colleges and all can help you develop the right one because all these things that are there on the screen on the right side is what I developed in the past four or five years. That's it. Hmm. So, uh, let's not blabber much about me. First of all, initial thoughts that I thought might uh, a lot of you uh, who are joining might have is uh, like I can doodle, like I can draw behind the notebooks and all. So, does that mean I can join architecture? Well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, secondly, I got a good rank. It is uh, always very easy and comforting to get a rank in the paper too. Uh, I myself got one and that's how I came into planning. And again, how much do I earn? This is a something uh, most of the students I feel uh, have, have a question in mind. Where's the money? So first of all, uh, I'll get into the detail and try to explain what exactly the course is and what all you guys will deal with in so that you yourself can assess that maybe this doodling is the right thing that will help you or not, whether the rank is your determining factor or not. But personally, I feel uh, architecture and planning are courses where you need a bit of dedication in the course itself. It is a little more exhausting than the courses of engineering and all. So I want you to have a little head, heads up and understand that how uh, this course needs to be perceived. So first of all, what is architecture? It is to simplify it in a layman language, that's art plus structure. Or the, let's just say the friends of uh, your friends who are kicking up engineering. If you know arts, you're an architect. So uh, basically, architecture is about designing spaces. <laughs> uh, uh, like I'll tell you this uh, course first. So uh, architecture is a five-year course, uh, unlike the four-year course in uh, engineering and all. Uh, 
uh, it ha- involves a six to twelve month internship. That means you actually go in a, a firm that is working on uh, in the field and you work with them. So that depends on the uh, college that you're in. That they decide whether it's a six months or a twelve months internship. And one semester is thesis, where you uh, this is I think uh, c- common in a lot of colleges, where you kind of apply everything that you learn throughout your degree and apply it in the last semester. Uh, so the basic concepts that we study in uh, architecture include art appreciation, design, civil engineering, and project management. So the last two are the ones are something that you need to also consider while taking. So it's not just doodling. Uh, so basically, whenever you're taking up a college, I would recommend you check up the Council of Architecture. So basically, this is a council uh, approved by the national government, and you need to know that uh, your college is approved by the same, so that your degree has value. And again, uh, I'll come back to the state quota part uh, being a blessing. But basically, uh, when you apply, uh, go for an application and all, there's always a special seat reserved for uh, sta- the students who are residing in the state itself. Huh. So basically, what uh, exactly do architecture students do? Basically, uh, it's somewhere it's the commercial buildings that you see, the skyscrapers, Burj Khalifa and all. Yeah, that's what architects do. But there's also the residential buildings, the houses that you, the one you own right now, the one you sit in the one I'm sitting in all of these were made by or approved by an architect maybe now, one, we can have an interesting thing we can ask yeah. all of these guys also to give their understanding of what an architect does yeah yeah definitely I think so, can... has a couple of things for you guys and he already has this slide prepared but can you guess and tell us according to you what does an architect do I, I've heard like interesting answers <laughs> Ha guys so let's let's open it up allowed. anything is allowed just write something i'll i'll get started designing ha huh, okay yeah yeah what do you what do you guys think are koi to likho So, am I supposed to assume either you guys know everything what architecture is? Like a or... job guarantee. Are <laughs> <laughs> we will discuss everything. It's a one hour long webinar. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> ha, designing houses. This Nikhil is already. Are Girinath uh, has a very beautiful thing. Yeah, an architect builds heaven. How that person wants it to be. Wow. Designing and planning building. According to space available and site. Oh God. So someone's Googling stuff, I guess. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> great, great. Some great things that maybe uh, Nirvan, now you can tell, about, you know, what are the different things, you know, I believe that this is not. It's so everything innovative. Yeah. So this is, I think, Sidwin, I guess, guy, uh, bro, you're getting a little bit more crux of what architecture is. Yeah. Uh, I'll, 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 I think I think I can uh, move to the part that I can create it, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess somewhere or the other, you're on the same phase, but architecture is a lot more than that. I mean, it's a course that doesn't really teach you. Like, like it's not like computer scientists, they teach you computers and all now, you know, programming, you can hack stuff and no. Architecture is a course that will give you tools. It will give you a pencil. Now it's up to you. You want to draw some webinar about what is like planning by some guy in SPA. Yeah, yeah. Please continue, Nirvan. Okay. Huh. Yeah. So, yes, this is huh. Huh. So a bit about the course is already done. So, like I said, big, huge buildings. People said designing offices. Yes, making houses was one of them. Now there are also government jobs available in architecture. So a lot of parents who question and ask, "Ke uh, future nahi hai, kya karoge?" and things like that. There are actually people whoever designs these buildings, let's say the commercial or residential. They need to come to the government and say, okay, bro, I made this building. Can you, can I make it? Then the government guy decides whether or not, or kitna paisa upar se jayega, kitna, uh, how much money goes above the table, under the table is uh, no comments. So after that, you've seen the IFA award stages that hugely be spinning in the background and stuff. Those are also architects. Uh, landscape design, the parks, the huge parks that you see in the city. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah. So then there's lights and acoustics, the stages that are there. Uh, facade design is a, again a complete uh, a new field which 
uh, the building looks just from the outside you, you get actually you get paid extra just to, if you can tell the people how the building will look in on the front side uh, apart from that museums and all the bigger buildings that are designed furniture and product design you can shift to these uh, courses as well interior design uh, game design a lot of my friends are actually looking into this like it's zoom for example pubg is there so the buildings and all that are there in pubg an architect might be working on is because they have the tools to make it like i said you have the pencil now it's up to you what you want to make out of it then again graphic designing and if you're more of a technical person there is also project management uh, uh bim consultant these are very technical terms i would say a ui ux design architecture journalism if you're just a person who likes writing let's say and you're a little creative and you're more into that side so there's always a career open in the field of architecture it's a very broad spectrum the five years it's just developing tools uh huh. so now moving on yeah so future prospects i'll i'm just broadening them down to a very simple one all that clutter that was there the, in the previous screen uh, you can have a firm it might be a family owned firm or some of someone else owns a firm you can start your own i have friends who got together they were like okay we don't want to deal with the with the boss system and all we'll just put on our shorts and uh, make our own firm and they did that so designing again posters everything even steer me most probably hired someone to make their own logo so it can be an architect you never know uh then there are professors again this is a profession that is available in all professions if you're an engineer you can always make more engineers if you're an architect you're a planner you can make more architects and planners and then again you can be a planner that's also something available with the architects so now what exactly is planning planning is i'll boil it down again to simple words it's about problem solving but in a city like whatever residential activities that are there so these are big terms building bylaws when a, an architect makes a building he needs to follow some rules for fire safety and stuff like that who makes those rules there's a planner again for it so these are things which are linked these are questions that people don't talk about like how is the pipe from the river to your house coming how is the water coming to your house the electricity who who makes sure that this is available in the right amount at the right price this is a lot there's a huge lot of study that goes into it and yes there are people involved in it. and no it's not just a politician who decides uh, where the road will be or where the water will come there are actually educated people behind this uh, again there are commercial activity markets industries there's a whole lot of uh, scope and profession of industries supply chain management itself is a huge uh, growing domain every industry needs to know how much they want to from where they want to get and stuff environment again if you're an activist kind of person uh, uh, like for example if you've heard of greta thunberg uh, the name uh, uh, so basically how she came up like uh, there how we need to revolutionize how we're dealing with climate change and all so a planner would understand how practical those things are and apart from that the social activities as well the beti bachao beti padhao and all these things also some way or the other thought by a planner uh, so like i i try to simplify it it's like uh, you if you've seen the movie krish uh, i don't know if i'm making sense or i'm too old for this uh, there was a machine they put their hand on it they spin it and they can see the future problems like if i'm going to die if there's going to be and the person calls himself a god right so it sounds like magic but that's actually science that's what planners study it's called data analytics we predict the future the floods that might come in uh, like how mumbai is ready always for a flood or something how the rains are going to be the climate prediction uh, you know how they tell the storms are coming and whatever so these are things planners study in detail and there are a lot of tools that you learn so and it's it's pretty simple if you understand the concepts you can go ahead and again we need, we learn to make these things on maps and all uh, like because it won't just make sense for you if someone speaks it out i mean a recent example if you uh, if you're following kbc i don't know if you guys were too stressed for in your exam results or not, or, or nothing but I, uh, they are also now presenting data on maps and everything so these are also some things that planners deal with so about the course now this is a generic four year course uh, in this we mostly deal with economy environment society and law. Uh, i know it sounds like a history geography ka crux but that's what it is actually and again project management is also a part of planning so again when you're choosing a college go for a certification by ippi that's institute of town planner in india i think we can provide you with the presentation as well so you can refer back yeah. so you cuz see uh, at cme i can make it all fun and jokes and all but you need to be sure what you're taking up as well 
uh, I want you guys, whatever degree you're taking, it should have value uh, in your, give value to you or your portfolio in four to five years. And apart from that, planning is also a course where you might want to consider taking up masters as well, because that is just something the market demands and something people in general who pers uh, pursue planning take up. Uh, so for uh, future prospects to simplify for the students, let's just say United, let United Nations is one of the employers for planners. That's what planners work for, the social, public development and things like that. And like, but honestly, United Nations for planners is like Google for engineers. Okay. It's a big deal. So you don't always get it, but yeah, a uh, world bank, Asia development bank, look them up. Uh, as for the jobs planning domain has a huge scope for government jobs. It is always recommended to take them and people who have the job security, paisa kitna hai. Uh, government jobs, bro, they are the best. You get services and all some, uh, states even offer you a house and all as a planner. So it's a very good opportunity. Apart from that, you can always have a consultancy firm or a research institution. So, and I'll give you an example. Uh, for example, I a senior of mine who did, basically, okay, I met a guy once who started, who was a very detailed profession in, professional in uh, environmentalism and all. So he's a good environmentalist and I went up to him and I'm like, sir, how are you making money of, by studying environment? At the end of the day, that's what her question is. And that guy is like, see, the biggest people who pay me are banks. Because they always need to know, like, if they are going to invest in some project, is it vulnerable to the act of God? Literally, there are banks, they study the act of God and then they make the clauses. The whole, if you've seen the OMG movie and all, these things are predicted and studied and that's what planners do. So this is something you should look into before uh, jumping into the generic courses, obviously. So, Maybe, you know, uh, before we jump on to this, we had a very interesting question, Nirvan, from Ritya. All right. What is the difference between planning and architecture? If you can tell it like a very easy thing, like you will explain it to a five-year-old, what would okay. that? What would be that thing? So, if an architect is making a building, a planner would decide where that building would come. Hmm. If how far is it from your park, far from the hospital, schools? How many hospitals? How many schools? Like an architect will decide. See, okay. I'll simplify it for you. An architect is more like a client-based perspective. So for example, if Vaidhi comes to me and says, Nirvan, I want to make a house. I want five rooms in it on the first row, 10 on the second row, and I only have two lakh rupees. And so this is what I have to deal with. Okay? Very fi limited financial resources. And the person wants a lot of stuff. That's an, what an architect will do. A planner on the other hand will study that, okay, Vaidehi, she has four people in her family. She needs maximum three rooms or four at max. So this is the kind of, space that she needs and all so but it is done on a larger scale that this is the population how many population is coming they shouldn't come in this area because there's a flood predicted and stuff like that so to simplify architecture is on a smaller scale that means on on a smaller plot okay let's say this is the house an architect makes a planner makes the whole cityscape how the buildings are going to come where is the river the park uh -huh. and it so, uh, Nirvan, correct me if I'm wrong, ho sakta hai, mujhe bhi aadhi information ho. like you study in economics, right? There is something called microeconomics, like from a single mm. person point of view. And there is something mm. called macroeconomics, which impacts many people all together, right? Mm. When you are studying architecture, you tend to think from a single person point of view and you tend to yeah. design the things mm. that are right for that person. And then you will obviously take Definitely. everything else into consideration. And that person can be anything. Mm. He can be a house owner. He it can be government, it can be somebody who wants to do an event, someone who wants to make an office or something like that. Whereas when you are doing planning, you are looking at 20,000 people, 2 lakh people, all of them together and designing things so that all of them can coexist and live properly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think uh, guys tell us if, you know, what Nirvan explained and how even I interpreted it makes sense to you all. If there's any confusion related to what architecture and planning is all about, please ask us in the comments because we will be moving to colleges, exams and so on. After this. Also, I have a whole sort of set for this also for architecture planning, the difference, even uh, we yeah. consider other aspects as well. So, yeah. but uh, see, personally, a lot of people told me that uh, when I have my mentorship calls and all, people are not always just fixed on to the question Okay, what I'll do in future and all. A lot of people are concerned, how is the college life? Like, is it going to be all the movies, say, girls and music and stuff? So, 
uh, I'll tell you a few stuff about how architecture planning college is, uh, the student life is. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's so first of all, is juries. Engineering for sure. Yeah. So the biggest difference between engineering college and the architectural planning college is a jury, which basically means that we, whatever we develop the solutions, the answers that we make, it is not just that we write it on a paper, like the questions or exams that you've been given till now. It is like we make up proper slides. We make up, uh, we print it on big sheets. We put them up, put the sheets in a background. We come up, we sit in front of people, we answer them. So I've just put up a f uh, picture of one of my seniors. So he was a very intense guy. He used to explain stuff to you. So, you know, you need to sell out your ideas to people. It's not just like, uh, Anna, I'll design a building. I'll give it to you. You'll see, oh, very nice building. I can make it. That's not how it works. People sit down on a table, they discuss it out. Okay, okay, this seems right, this seems wrong. And in juries, it is it gets in. There are senior experienced faculties or uh, people from a bigger institution and all, and they'll roast you and try to, you know, get hold of you. Know. So it's a very fun thing. That's it's a crucial part of any architecture planner. Then next is stationary. We spend a lot. I have to give you the heads up uh, morally. We spend a lot on stationary. Like, I mean, architects, there's the proper equipment for everything. Even holding sheets, there's a thing called sheet holder. We never heard of it till 12, but there are proper equipment for everything. There are huge scales, triangles and whatnot that you might have thought, okay, it's for fun. It's like a sword or something, but no. A very technical study is required for that as well. So nightlife, this is literally my friend. This was our first uh, night, a full night out that we call it. We pulled it off. So you have to stay up all night sometimes. We our, our sleep cycle is usually at 12 or 2 a.m. So you need to work and all this that is there on the ground, all of the, that was calibrated and submitted the next morning and we got good marks. But you need to sometimes stay up whole night and it's exhausting. Then again, but uh, the thing is architecture and planning, like I said, it gives you the tools. So you can actually learn anything, whatever you want. I have seniors who are part of music bands. I have seniors who who are now programmers who are programming in planning or going into field of photography for architecture. They click pictures only of buildings. So, and they sell those pictures and all they earn money out of they're the, you know, the Faran and Raju wala thing. You can be whatever you want. You don't uh, always have to follow a generic. So that field is very much open in architecture and planning again. And you have to be an extrovert. So this is something if you're not, the course will make you the juries, the way it works. You need to go to different cities or you need to talk to different people. So I'm talking to some random British chef we found out uh, on the middle of a street in Madurai. And so it was so convenient. Like after a time, it gets so easy to talk to. It becomes very like something that you do on a daily basis. So it's very good for uh, character development. I feel like uh, shifting from a little from the engineering background. As, uh, like again, these, this was basically my profession. I need to talk to random people and it's fun. It's always fun. Uh, again, friends and contacts. So all these pictures that are there, they are from different play, different cities and some different thing that we are doing. It might be a competition. It might be some uh, webinar, some uh, let's say conference that we were attending or things like that. So you roam around a lot. You, I've been I've all the way, everywhere from Punjab to uh, Vijayawada. Like you can understand it's, it's a very fun thing to be like, you make a lot of friends. And in architecture planning, this is something which is very much motivated. They, your seniors and all, they will tell you, they will almost force you into it. Uh, next, again, competition is the real teacher. Uh, like in architecture and planning, it is always recommended since the first year itself. You go for national and international competitions. And actually, Indian students do perform very well. Like you just, there's a competition. They'll say, okay, make a building. You sit in your room, you make up innovative ideas. I've seen n of number of people coming up with n number of things. And it's all beautiful. The results are beautiful and you learn a lot. So it's not just a class based thing. You need to go out. You need to, so it's, it's, it's I mean, it's an experience itself. You need to have it. Even if you're not taking architecture planning, try to at least have friends and competitions in your life. Uh, even if it's, it's in other, in another field. Yeah. I guess a lot of, you know, guys are asking about TA college milega ya wo college milega. Is rank hmm. kya milega? Will I get B plan or not? Guys, we will come to that very soon. Don't worry about it. Yaar. See, the yeah, more that's important a... thing to do right now is if you get a college, it's good, right? And we will help you understand which college you can get and all of that. But it's important for you to understand what it really entails. Because what ends up happening is when you take up something, you randomly randomly 
and then you really think that okay i should have maybe researched about it more right and i hope you are you know listening to what nirvan is saying right now because this is something that's not available anywhere outside you will not find anyone who is from an spa who is explaining you all of these different things in such an easy fashion right so please pay attention to this and if you have any questions please post that in the uh, you know uh, chat we will address all of your questions okay if you are getting any question right now please add that in the q and a session q and a part of the uh, webinar we will address all of the questions okay if you have any kind of questions related to whether i will get this or not whether i will get that or not i have sent you a link you can just go to that there is a college predictor you can check over there and then you will have the details okay so don't worry about that a lot but really listen to what nirvan is trying to tell yeah i think uh, nirvan when we talk about architecture planning and design let us also discuss about the scope in the coming years because this is some a relevant question over here okay yeah okay yeah. Uh, so i can i can bring to that as well also adding to what you just said uh, basically yes guys uh, this is something which happens every year in a college first year students show up at the gate of the college and then like acha to sir isme what are we supposed to do exactly yahan pe paisa kahan hai jobs kahan this is the question they are asking at the gate of the college so i mean steer me i i think it's a very good platform where you can get this confirmation before hand ha na to nikalne se pehle uh, like before you leave the house you you know where you going and what you're going to do in the next 4 to 5 years uh so ha huh, coming back to this thing i'll brief it down for you guys so basically now uh, the difference that uh, a lot of people were asking so architecture is about designing buildings like i said planning on the other hand comes to designing cities and it is way more intense it's just not where the road and building will be the water electricity everything and the same goes in architecture as well the structures you need to study physics as well always remember just because you can draw a nice building does not mean you can always be a good architect you need to be very familiar with the concepts of physics and stuff like that so again uh, in design there is uh, it is uh, something which is a little different even though somewhere or the other they are intermixed or people may shift from one profession to another design is basically more about product or graphic design it's it's, it's relating to uh, how your laptop will be the size of your phone i mean if you make a bigger phone people won't be comfortable using it right so these are the basic uh, i am boiling it down very much uh, so this is what design deals with uh, i know a bit because i was applying for the same but uh, you know how life is uh so again architecture is deals with design concepts maths and physics on the other hand planning takes up a completely different angle they take up economy environment sociology geography and stuff like that design on the other hand has uh, again uh, technology management and marketing how they have a whole theory about how just the color of uh, your logo or things like that will impact the people and i mean you can observe it food industries most of them will have red or yellow colors mcdonalds burger king so these are all marketing strategies they study this also so it's also something in which you should look at look it up i mean uh again so for architecture there's always a benefit that they have is that they can always do planning or design uh huh. so they cup an extra diploma course or something like that another masters and they can take planning as a future prospect i have seniors from architecture who took a planning and are right now in a very good jobs and maybe they are my potential employers uh, on the other hand planning also gives you another uh, space to jump into you can always go into the field of management civil services or ias officers and all who people who spend a lot of time studying we all actually study a lot in the college itself so it's it's always a good thing to prepare for it a lot of my seniors my even my pers uh, personal friends are uh, intensely working on it maybe they'll give best of luck to them and all uh, and again this scope of research so you see how those whatsapp messages show up uh, every few days that okay this much percentage of women in india this is happening that is happening. so these statistics and everything this is studied by uh, and as well again design on the other hand does not let you jump back to these courses at least so again to explore more about plan designing stay in touch with <laughs> steer me i guess uh so to boil it down again i'm trying trying to make sure that you guys get the crux of it okay famous buildings and buildings in general is what architecture is make in india swachh bharat all these planners come up there is a thing called uh, niti ayog 
a proper government body dedicated to policies and consultancy research and this there's a huge a lot of stuff that you can work on uh, but yeah okay so this is a, a little serious one always remember that uh, for a, an architect uh, for an architecture degree you want, you uh, let's just put it that one does not need br degree to make and design buildings like uh, to simplify it for example doctors they have a license okay they take up a degree they get a license and they are the only ones in a hospital who can operate uh, but in the field of architecture if you have a license that means you can you call yourself an architect but it can be a civil engineer even a planner can make a building and get it approved by the government so somewhere or the other like why they were saying uh, the future market aspect uh, architecture has become more of a passion oriented field people take up architecture because they want to do it okay they they put, want to put in 5 years of the course uh they want to put 5 years of their uh, life into this and then they learn a lot of stuff and they want to go innovative okay you uh, so on the other hand uh, so this is something that uh, a lot of architects in the market are pissed off about uh, so but there are always conflicts going on let's see what happens in the future on the other hand uh, in planning we always have architects like architecture ka benefit is that you can shift to planning planning ka loss is that always architects and civil engineers can shift to planning so they are potential competitors even though in india there are like uh, only one planner where they need four so still the uh, the the grind is there i mean but it's there everywhere so don't be afraid of a grind ke no competition hoga you go to iits also bro you will have to sit into a placement cell you'll have to uh, go through the competition anyway that's market that's how it works so don't be afraid of it but this is things you need to know all right this will be on your tips when you're thinking about how you want to take up the course further now coming to the admission process uh, why they are there any questions like we have a lot of questions actually okay okay and many of them are related to the admission process really guys right. you are asking very great questions what i will really like all of you to do is stay on this webinar i've seen a couple of two three people leaving the session okay but stay on this webinar because just after we are done with this we will answer every single question that you have asked okay no question will be left if we leave one question you have to tell us on the chat we will take care of it all right so uh, nirvan how many of the uh, slides do you have left right now uh, is it just the basic one uh, like the admission process and all admission i think admission process right great great but once we are done with this we will you know answer each of your queries guys meanwhile if you are very inquisitive to learn whether you will get an spa or not which college you will get from jee counseling and all of that i have already sent you the link you can go and check out on your link if you are getting very curious inside and you want that answer right here right now otherwise wait for 15 minutes we'll answer all of your questions okay yeah please yeah. please go ahead Ha, so let's speed it up a little uh, we I, i also want to jump to the question guys so first of all architecture you need physics chemistry and maths as your background on the other hand uh, for planning you just need to have maths in your 12th right for government colleges they go through the josa process like josa is a website i think you, you guys will be familiar with that they just take into consideration your je score and in 12th i guess the margin is still the same you need 75% at least Uh, apart from that there is also architecture offered in iit khadakpur and roorkee uh, for that you need to clear the architecture aptitude test as well which is the given after the advance so the adv advanced results are out if any one of you are interested being an iit in architect you can go for that as well next is the private colleges so this is where uh, students really need to be active about because these colleges have their portals uh, open specifically on their own websites they don't go for the josa and everything and some of them are very good colleges so you need to check the websites time to time uh, and they take up they might take up je score they might, might take nata score and sometimes they take a co combination as well like 20% of 12th 80% of nata and things like that so be active check these websites on a daily basis this is something you need to put up for a week or two so that you know the dates at least uh, while choosing the college uh check the establishment here the old the college the better uh, especially the department itself it shouldn't be kids okay, in old college but architecture just came in last year uh, so because they have done their trial and uh, error and everything they've experimented on the students they have a fixed model to teach you to make sure that you learn a lot uh so that always helps apart from that if you need to know anything uh, in detail about a specific college you can always uh come up to, for a st uh, stay me session or even alumni pages are there 
excuse me for these websites and all uh, for these colleges a uh, placement sale activity it is always helpful for the college to have a placement sale so that you can get a job a confirmed job by december when you're leaving i will be going for my placement sale this december so these things help you a lot uh, apart from that activities competitions and clubs it is important that like i said the traveling and everything the list that i have is something that my college is my college gives me the activities ka option to go and compete with other colleges and stuff i have my dramatics clubs that's how i realized that i am good in dramatics so these things should be there in the college you can talk to the alumni and this for and all that and again which college is better it is not really guys something that you can answer uh, every student might say that my college is better i can say osp vijay is better go for it but no that's not how it works uh, you can check up the nerf ranking that is national institute of ranking framework that is the only thing i would recommend Uh, cause others they might be biased by some financial funders or whatever so this is a government one they take into consideration alumni the infrastructure and stuff so this is a good one you can consider otherwise it is always uh, up to you how you what your heart says go for it guys yeah so questions great great we will answer every question you guys have okay first of all um, you know vanshika had a question which she has left uh, the chat but nonetheless um just a question just a sec ha job guarantee ritika has had this question is there a job guarantee in architecture and planning ha okay so first of all guys how do you say job guarantee in engineering or any field see yeah, i'll i'll classify it for you guys okay first of all job one is a good and satisfying job and what second is uh like you know or a billionaire ban gaye google and stuff so that is something depending on your own excellency how hard you're pushing it how what is your experience competitions you took part in and internships and stuff so that is something you did in the four or five years that is what actually decides your job no company is judging you ke are 12th mein tumne ye college le li you took this college now to you should definitely get job so that's not how it actually works you it depends on how much you push in the next four to five years in your college but apart from that there are a huge lot of jobs available okay but it's also about how what you want from it a lot of my architect friends actually give up the jobs that they are being offered because they want to open their own firm they want to be a little more freelance they want to enjoy their life and stuff like that there's someone doodling on the screen okay let them enjoy oh huh. okay great so um i guess we address this question of difference between architecture and planning uh, which are the good colleges for planning let us talk about good colleges for uh, you know both architecture and planning once uh, nirvan right. yeah ha okay so first of all guys this is a personal opinion okay cuz i have just met students it might be a personal bias and all but first of all uh, there are uh, in architect in the field of planning cuz i am a planner i can say there are three spa spa delhi vijayawada and bhopal all of them are very good for bachelors uh delhi being the top most it, it is considered one of the uh, big colleges in india this sept uh, they they have their portal open uh, separately i guess so you should check on with them as well uh, apart from that you should uh, i would suggest check up the itpi ka list the itpi the institute of town planner in uh, india so there you can check up the list there are a, lo- a lot of colleges are there so you can always check in with them uh but honestly i would recommend see i have so, seen students from even a bad college perform very well take up packages they've competed with students of my college or and we were shocked ki are yaar these people are taking up these packages so it's up to the students pretty much it's not much about uh, but uh, i would recommend check the uh, curriculum as well because as far as i know uh, amity college one of them uh, one of the planning colleges they have around 12 subjects they teach languages and everything to the students as well on the other hand colleges like spa we have six subjects a semester that means yeah that's it six semester subjects a semester we have like two classes a day so college is a little chill in architecture and planning and so you need to see like what exactly are you studying do you want to really study that or uh, if you're considering international prospects or not and things like that and in the field of architecture there are many more there are around seven more than 700 colleges in india uh and uh, planning is a growing field architecture is well established uh there is sir jj college sp delhi is even considered well in architecture department uh then there is chandigarh college of architecture which i was applying 
so the, all these colleges see it is always important that you check the state quotas as well okay when you're checking these good colleges because sometimes you might be getting a better call like uh according to your rank you might get a actually a good college in your state rather than the josa wala platform and things like that so always uh, be a little more open minded to uh, the good and bad aspect it's more of a perception and opinion guys i personally feel yeah but, but if you really have to see at numbers i believe the official websites that you mentioned and the nirf rankings are the things that every student should look at right yeah see your college right Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but that's there. Uh, nonetheless, we'll move forward to other questions that we have. We ha- just have a couple of minutes left for the session. We'll uh, complete every single question, okay? Ha, sure. Um, yeah, could I be able to switch to other careers in future if I don't like it? Is NIT Raurkela a good college to get architecture? Ha. So, like I said, obviously, but. it depends on the uh, course see honestly guys this is something i tell all the students the market is very raw it is nothing like i did btech i have to be an engineer my whole life nothing like that i've seen engineers become bank managers and ca students become artists artists become architects and stuff like that it's all crazy everyone can go anywhere so switching is uh, as long as see it's about how you are able to sustain in the market uh, will people prefer you not if your work is good enough people will hire you it doesn't matter if you're an engineer or an architect so don't think of that way and uh, i nit which what was the college the one they're asking for nit uh nit one minute raurkela i believe acha okay uh, nit raurkela for architecture uh, i would recommend uh, i i won't give you any fake or any made up answers and all i suggest you check the nerf rankings and all uh and maybe the alumni pages and also because sometimes people when they pass out of the colleges then they actually put up the truth online on websites ke oh no this college was this that's what they did to me and things like that so you can check up those pages as well so it will give you a little idea of how the students after passing the colleges actually felt yeah yeah um definitely one minute so uh, on this part also guys i i feel that one of the things that when you enter into a college right you will have to decide is whether to go really deep into your field of study or to explore other things do both when you enter into a college and then decide okay opportunities are always there and if you land up in a good college you will get the opportunities okay don't worry about that yeah actually architecture and planning they give you the option of being any of the three idiots you rancho you can be the researcher the biggest prodigy of your college you can be farhan you can leave the field go live your life live your dreams or you can be raju and you know have a simple life maybe it will obviously uh, pay you better than what your parents were earning this is a minimum target students keep right and so yeah. you can have all three it's it's way more open than uh, that's what i feel it's way more open than the other courses in the country right another question is will you recommend taking a coaching for exams okay uh honestly i don't think it is as such too much necessary uh especially for architecture and planning you can give a month or two cause architecture guys if you just putting in time for your <clears throat> for your maths and all maths and physics if you can put up a little effort a uh, general aptitude is something people clear very easily okay it comes to people naturally and for planning it gets even easier so it is i don't personally recommend going for intense coaching sessions or anything if you want go for some youtube videos learn some sketching and all if you want uh, as such it doesn't require any push, uh, professional training as such got it um one minute what rank is required in je mains be planning to get into spm abhijit first of all i think this is the first year uh, correct me if i am wrong nirvan this is the first year when b plan ka alag se paper hua hai right ha 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 yeah so, so even ha yeah yeah it's not capable of answering that i mean directly yeah. so guys till now you know uh, architecture and planning used to be one single exam and in from this year onwards okay architecture there would be a different exam for ab arc and different exam for b plan okay so you can see the uh, you know uh, 
things that we have also given in our college predictor and everything but you know fill it properly because this is the first time the ranks will be distributed like this okay so we cannot give you a number ki oh it's approximately 300 400 or 1000 1200 or something like that okay i hope you guys understand this um Haan. see honestly for this kind of confusion uh, it is always recommended make a list of your own one i want the most second most third most go for that list fill up those lists as well just throw it up take it don't worry what will i get agar mil raha cuz you never know a person in the upper college might just leave the uh, course and might go for an other college or might not be able to take the seat on the right time god knows what a miracle happens and you might get entry into that so always put colleges that you actually want on uh, above the ones that you're actually getting so that's not really an issue yeah uh ritika has a question what should i choose architecture and planning uh if i choose architecture and planning should it depend only on my interest or on my on the basis of my je rank uh, i think it should be more on your interest uh, ritika ritika right yeah so it should be more on your interest i mean cause it's a passion driven course a five year course means that most of your friends when they passing out you're still in your college you're still working on internships and things and you're still taking up tools so somewhere or the other you need to be very passionate about it okay so uh, and even in planning i think uh, cuz there's a lot of confusion uh, a lot of my juniors also like in my first year or second year they also ask me ke what's up what, like i said they're on the gate and now they're asking us ke okay what is this about where are we going for our jobs and stuff so it is always recommended to have something that you're passionate about i'm passionate about my course so i love doing it right so and again the whole uh I I mean I have experienced it that's why I can say that if you actually love your job you won't have to work for a day and this can be more true when uh, come coming to designing and creative aspects yeah guys you you guys have a lot of questions related to colleges which college is better which college is not every nit tag is good guys but spas are considered better than nits generally okay so Uh, i uh, correct me if i'm wrong you have colleges like iit kharagpur iit rurki this year onwards you have iit bhu as well which give uh, architecture as a course you have three spas you have nit in that also nit trichy nit calicut nit bhopal are three that people look uh, after right or mm-hmm. is there any other nit that's out there Uh, I think pretty much, ha, huh? yeah, yeah, you've covered them, yeah. So from JE, okay, from JE, you will either get three IITs, three uh, SPS, three NIT. All the other NITs which are offering BR are also good, okay, but they are not as awesome as Calicut, Trichy, and Bhopal. All right. I hope it answers a lot of questions that you guys have. whenever you are choosing first keep iits then keep spas then keep nits okay nit calicut might be an exception okay because it is generally considered very good for architecture cool tum log ko bahut question hai bhai is prakar se theek hai and spa considers only je br can be uh, b plan marks okay just mm-hmm. check that on the app that we have but we will quickly come to other questions that people have uh one question that uh, i believe abhijit we answered your question related to scope of planning hai na uh sarthak we answered your question related to requirement of a coaching shreya uh, can you get good grades in architecture if you are not best at physics uh yeah 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 that's not okay so i'll tell you something uh the juries that i said is basically called a studio so we have scoring ke okay? it's not like uh, in 10th we you've had ke okay, like for example maths physics chemistry all of them are subjects right in architecture and planning there's a thing called the uh, the how much points it uh, earns you so every theory subject earns you 3 points but a, a studio earns you 15 points so if you're just good with explaining people if you're just good with selling your ideas that itself can get you uh, a good score in and an overall score even i am very bad with theories very bad with maths my handwriting i am still getting uh, scolded by the faculties for my handwriting but i am able to score because i know how to you know make my things look good and i can come up and i can sell stuff so that's what's working for me so it's more of a, a you know hustle kind of thing so that's not an issue it is just something you need to get passing score and all so as long as you have friends mentoring you that can be sorted i guess yeah 
Yeah, I believe Sabitri has a very relevant question. Nirvan, I would love to hear your views and I also have something to add to this. Sabitri has a question. Why every why is it that everywhere it is written that package is less uh, for architecture as compared to other branches? Uh, may I need to pay extra money for the projects that I give in the government colleges? Uh, okay, yes. Huh. So I'll give you the basic uh, idea of this. A friend of mine is in Bits Goa right now. We've been studying since first grade, okay? And that guy got a package of 56 lakhs uh, annually. So yeah, that's a very big package. And I've never heard an architect or a planner getting that kind of package. But on the other hand, uh, yeah, that's, I guess, yeah, I have to say that these kind of people can get bigger packages. But if you see the uh, average out, if you average it out, like let's say the IITs and all some of them, I guess they say the average package went to 5 lakh per annum, right? A lot of the IITs also have this thing. And uh, colleges actually kind of, you know, the score that they show, the market is like computer science specific students get very good packages. And those packages, even my friend, they don't get uh, exact amount paid. So if they say you'll get 5 lakh a month, you don't get 5 lakh, you'll get 2 lakhs plus 3 lakh uh, shares are there. You can't sell the shares together. You need to sell some at the end of the year, some there, some there. So it's, I mean, it's a, a little bit, you know, shady area of how these packages are working. But yeah, uh, architecture and planning do earn a little less than uh, what you say, engineering and all. But then again, you have a little bit more open scope towards government job. So if you're just oriented towards how you're going to earn money, um, I think architecture planning might not be the perfect course for you because these are more of passion driven courses. This, this is for people who are creative and want to do stuff, try stuff and not more about money. Yeah. I'll have you know, one thing that I have realized uh, till now is that architecture and planning is something that requires you to study more. Okay. So never consider like when you done with, when you're done with your B plan or your B arc, then everything is just sorted. Okay, it is not like that. You generally are required to do a master's. You are required to do many different internships to land in a great place, right? But whereas what happens with B.Tech folks or B.E. folks is that just after they complete their uh, B.E. or B.Tech, I'm telling because I'm a B.Tech in chemical engineering. I studied from IIT Kharagpur, okay? So that is why I'm telling that when I completed my B.Tech, all of a sudden, I got those opportunities. Another thing that you have to keep in mind is the number of people who give BE and BTEC are very high. Okay? The number of people who go for architecture and planning are very limited. Okay, And you really have to take that into consideration because the thing that you are seeing for BE and BTEC, right? if you are seeing IITs, you are just seeing 1% of the total people. But whereas if you see good colleges in architecture and planning also, you are seeing very great students over there. And maybe an SPA would have 5% of the total, uh, you know, uh, uh, students who are doing yeah. architecture in the country. And also don't think of it that way. If you enter into a good college, eventually you will land up somewhere great. But if your immediate priority is ki after my job only, I want to get a package of 15 lakh per annum. So it might be difficult for you just after architecture. You, yeah, that's and guys, adding to that, I mean, I've personally experienced that people who are actually successful in architecture or planning, most of them have gray hair. All right. So uh, success is something that comes with time. And when they have success, it's like established people. Okay. You don't, you don't, they're there. Cause if you're a planner, then you, you know, these specific names. They'll always be, you'll want to have them on your contacts and stuff. You want to make an image in front of them because now they're established. So it takes time. It is a little, let's say, slow progressing one, but every day adds up to your experience. Every right. day you can have something new. Right. And you have a lot of international opportunities as well when you yeah. enter into uh, architecture. Ah, I think I should point this out. Uh, basically, actually, it's these are very valued courses in uh, European and American continent. Uh, like Europe actually values planners too much. I mean, they have four planners where they need one. That is the case. Like people are actually pursue, pushing it a lot as a profession and their people more are, are more aware about the profession. Uh, and like the license value, like you actually have a license for planning. You need to have a specific course. You need to have uh, minimum uh, things that you need to fill up and the, those are taken up and then you have a license. Then only you can be a planner or an architect in those countries. So 
I mean, it, it, if you're planning for foreign countries, me being Punjabi, Canada, and thing, I'm thinking things like that. So always foreign options are uh, a juicy fruit we want to bite in. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think uh, there are a couple of more questions that students have, I guess, related to job prospects and everything. I guess, guys, we were able to answer your question. Also related, related to job prospects. If you have any question, just write in the uh, you know chat. We will answer those. Okay. Um, one minute. Yeah. Another question is, uh, are there branches in planning or is it one as a whole? I believe it's one branch only for undergraduate, right? B plan is a single branch for planning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bachelors of planning is a single branch. Yeah. yeah. If you want to do specializations, you can take up MTech and do that or mm -hmm. M plan and do that. Okay? Yeah. Uh, if you want, I believe there is a concept of doing a lot of diploma also, right? Uh, yeah, people do that. That's, I mean, again, the whole policies that have changed in the country. So that might uh, trend more now. So let's see how the market changes for that. Very quickly, we'll answer some questions that have come up just now. Baki question we will address, karenge, okay? So uh, if someone is not financially strong, will you mm -hmm. recommend them to take up architecture to afford the expenses of this course? Um, yes, I think... Uh, because there are actually quota. So um, this is something personal, I guess. But do you have some uh, reservation as well? Or is it just uh, like, if you don't mind me asking, uh, if there's a reservation on all, there are, okay. So there are scholarship for the reservations and all. But apart from that, uh, there are financial loans available and things like that. But uh, guys, it's totally up to you. You should, uh, I would suggest, I mean, it is not like that, that expensive when I say, but you have the expenditure, you need to buy a good laptop you need to spend a little bit amount on the stationery and stuff like that. So these expenses are there. You cannot, yeah. it, is, it gets really, really like, you know, it will grind you on a daily basis if you don't put in money in these things. So then you need to look into that perspective as well. I think Sabitri, one of the things that's also, and for everyone, right? There is this concept of MCM, Merit Cum Means Scholarship in all of the government colleges, okay? What you have to do is you have to suggest, okay, this is my family income. And what they do is they uh, do the paperwork. And if you have good enough CGPA in your first year, it, just your first year, CGPA is your marks in your first year, then they allow you to have a, a scholarship basically which is 50% off or 60% off basis what level of uh, you know help you need they give you that kind of scholarship and that is out there in almost all of the top NITs, IITs, SPAs and everything right it's called MCM Merit Come Means Scholarship which is provided by the government okay but if it comes to taking laptops, uh, spending on uh, some uh, visits that you are doing, spending on stationery, that you will have to do from your own pocket. Okay, MCM only gives you off on uh, hostel fees and tuition fee. Okay. okay. Yeah, and also like uh, I have a lot of friends. If you're like good enough, again you have to be a little on the creamier side. But if you have a lot of friends and you're doing good work and all, you people stay, start taking up uh, projects and some outsourcing work in third year is, uh, as well. So you can get a little pocket money for girlfriend or whatever. So yeah. Yeah, that is uh, scope possible. I know people who make easily 15,000 per month doing consulting activity only. Mm. And they started from their second, third year. So that option is also there when you are, uh, you know, you are doing architecture or planning, both of them. Okay. Uh, so that will be there. You just have to be smart. Hana, another question is, is BR tougher than BE? Uh, tougher in what sense? If you talk in terms of hard work that you need to put in, I think architecture is definitely uh, way harder. Uh, yeah. See, uh, BE and all, you can actually at the end of the day, uh, I mean, mug up stuff one night before and stuff. That thing is possible. Be architecture, you need to, uh, the juries happen almost once a week or uh, like once in two weeks. So you need to consistently work on that as well. So I think architecture needs a little more hard work. So that's what, if you're passionate, you will be lovingly working on it. So that's why I recommend you need to have the passion. It's for the hard work that is there. Right. And uh, another thing is, what is the curriculum for planning? Abhijit, this was explained by Nirvan. 
ही विल ऑल्सो सेंड दिस पीपीटी ओके जस्ट गो थ्रू दैट पीपीटी वंस उसमें लिखा हुआ है कि क्या करिकुलम प्लानिंग का ओके सार्थक है द क्वेश्चन हाउ टू गेट बेटर एट ड्राइंग फॉर एग्जाम्स एंड हाउ डू यू प्रिपेयर फॉर एग्जाम्स यू नो हाउ अच्छा how to prepare for exams would you recommend a coaching so i guess we address the coaching part of it sarda it is not 100% required it's okay if you study on your own give mock test uh, uh, go through some concepts two months before the exam also you may be able to crack it very well you might get into an fpa easily okay but when it comes to practicing drawing and everything what would you say nirvan ha huh. so okay a little i am sorry the session is extending a lot yeah, but yeah. uh what i used to do was i'll take up the old newspaper and all i'll i'll just the basic thing was strokes like we used to just draw on the newspaper just like that basic lines then circles so that i am very fast at the drawing okay i can make a good circle a great line as fast as i can second is i used to draw on the newspaper itself if there's a politician i'll make a mustache i i'll see how funny and creative i can get so basic just your stroking and all um, i mean how your pencil and your hand works that can be more than enough honestly the questions are pretty simple apart from that do look up technical drawing that is something you should check out on uh, youtube and all because they have perspective drawings how to think how things might look from a specific angle and all so that kind of uh, thing also comes up in a architecture question okay. question paper right? i think it's there in nata as well so that will also help technical drawing and basic practicing that's more than enough man yeah uh aditika i guess we answered all of your question related to colleges hai na uh, generally between architecture and planning also uh, correct me if i am wrong nirvan uh, people with better rank generally go for architecture and then they choose planning is this a general trend that people have so that's because mostly people don't know what planning is yeah okay <laughs> now But that with separate i believe things will become very easy yeah ऐसा नहीं है दैट स्कोप फॉर आर्किटेक्चर इज वेरी वेरी गुड एंड स्कोप फॉर प्लानिंग इज वेरी बैड सिमिलर स्कोप्स ओके द ओनली एडवांटेज दैट आर्किटेक्चर हैज इज दे कैन डू प्लानिंग आफ्टर दैट बट प्लानिंग पीपल कैन नॉट डू आर्किटेक्चर आफ्टर बी प्लान राइट या सो वी कम टू सिडविन क्वेश्चन सिद्विन ओके दैट्स द नेम राइट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग नेम मैन विल यू सजेस्ट आर्किटेक्चर और प्लानिंग इफ वी आर ओके विद एनी ऑफ दैम in the view that we are paid well bit of stress free and there is demand for us what would you suggest nirvan okay so yeah that's i mean again i think that's a very personalized thing that you should consider because i i've told you uh, planning is about geography economy social law and things like that architecture is about design structures so these are two completely different things it's up to you what you want to work on man. never ever choose a career because kuch bhi chalega i mean you have to do it for the rest of your life guys so think it through take your time okay even if you sit down and think for an hour i mean actually it will give you a lot of outputs so don't just uh, limit yourself that way uh, apart from that i would suggest uh, if you want to explore there can be whole question answer session for this um like you can get in touch with me if through stay me if possible i'm available throughout the week and so this thing i think you should uh, i mean i can't really say man ki okay? just take up architecture or school hota hai ya planning or something this is something a personal decision you'll have to take because you have to put hard work in both see i'll tell you from my perspective i was in the chillest branch in iit khadakpur chemical engineering is the chillest branch there was this one time when i started studying at 9 pm for an exam that was in the at 9 am in the other day okay next day and i could do that in chemical engineering because it was easy in my college if you were to compare chemical in iit khadakpur to chemical in iit bombay for example na bombay mein it's a little difficult and people have to study harder there but in architecture in my college people had so many projects which literally required them to make something okay in my yeah. case i just have to re- read some random things and you know answer everything ulti kar do paper mein ja ke all of those things i could do right but architecture and planning they demand a holistic uh, you know uh, involvement from your end okay you might think of it as stress you might think of it that it is demanding much for you but like nirvan said right it is something that is if you are passionate towards it you will enjoy that process rather than thinking of it as a stressful thing mm. 
बट इफ यू आर लाइक मी हु लाइक अरे कुछ नहीं करना आई एम जस्ट यू नो चिलिंग माई कॉल इन माई कॉलेज लाइफ एंड यू नो आई जस्ट स्टडी ट्वेल्व आवर्स बिफोर दी एग्जाम then maybe architect you will feel that architecture is stressful and you have to make that commitment if you take both architecture or planning please be ready for that because that commitment will be required but nonetheless nirvan what i have seen is the peer group in architecture and planning is super awesome okay yeah which matlab hamare college mein what used to happen is architecture people used to go on two trips every year they used to go to kerala goa pondicherry uh, uh, uh. uttarakhand they used to go everywhere on colleges expense okay and yeah, that's what that is a, huh. that is a part of the syllabus so you actually have to go places and not just kerala it's like uh, like for our college sp vijayawada they'll take you to multiple cities like abhi bangalore mein ha bhai ab kahan aur chennai mein so they'll be roaming around <laughs> in yeah. states and all. so it's always fun and in yeah. plan we need to specific study specific city so we'll go there for a week or something we'll get the data information we'll roam literally our work requires us to roam around in the city and check out the markets we literally go out we are eating and if teacher asks us we like ha ha sir we're trying to understand this <laughs> <laughs> so that kind of thing yes the friends and everything the lifestyle is very uh, fun i mean even in the professional world it's not like just you will uh, enjoy in the four years and then there's a struggle or anything no even the field itself is a little more chill Yeah, but in SPAV, where all did you, did they take you? If you can name some five six places. Ha. Huh, okay. So for us, uh, uh, initially, again, the whole city itself was our first one. Then around some surrounding villages, Mopi Devi and stuff like that. Ah, uh, then we moved into Chennai. Okay, I'll just tell you the cities I've been to because of my uh, profession and all. So there's Bhopal, where where there is right now. Ah, uh, uh, then Bhopal, Indore, then Bangalore. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. then this chennai tambaram i mean i can name a lot man pond acha pondicherry was a tra- tra- fun trip uh then delhi uh, dehradun uh, ahmedabad uh, manesar so, so i can name a lot i mean yeah. it's up to the problem statement and we are actually going there and we studying are hey are there is less water over here what, what to do let's jump into the pool man this is how <laughs> cuz that's literally how it works so you enjoy a lot a, lo- a lot in the studies and all because we are passionate about it okay we go to the city we think okay these are the problems okay now we know the problems work done that's all you have to do now enjoy so that's how it works us we works for us and again on college expense so that's the most lovely part about it right and in my college you know people architecture guys used to be like oh last time we visited pondicherry so now we'll not go to pondicherry huh, we'll yeah to that is a- then they used to be like acha this time not kerala we'll go to odisha and they never used to repeat the places okay and we used to feel so sad sitting in college and being like are they are traveling the whole country and many of them used to go for foreign trips as well okay so people used to have six six month internships outside of india and we used to yes, yes, like yes, this little, we used to be like are yaar what is going on and <laughs> you know things so like, so now you guys guys know see guys this is sp vijayawada and iit kharagpur on the same platform <laughs> Yeah. So but, that is, I mean, yeah. Yeah. That, that's one part of it. I guess one of the questions was, does uh, do NITs, IITs, SPAs accept NATA score? No, they don't. No. NATA has NATA score uh, is accepted by a different set of colleges like JJ mm-hmm. and all of that. You can get that list. Just Google it, and you will get that list. Okay. um i guess we addressed a couple of questions sabitri ka question we addressed can i do after taking pcmb yes you can hai na can i have answer for one question mil gaya sidwin i guess you got the answer um where all do students go in spav okay another question is would you recommend studying abroad for architecture ha huh, definitely go for it a uh, lot of my seniors the people who recommended me are uh, planning Uh, are right now uh, start like studying in foreign countries and practicing there so uh, of course for the covid situation the economy has gone a little low but uh, there is a huge ro- lot of express, uh, uh, respect and all i'm telling you even in i think it's in the in the australian continent as well uh, europe if you can go to europe bro there's a lot of money there people throw a lot of money but they expect a lot from you i don't know if you seen uh, the stand up or not but uh there was some one who cracked the joke that they went there and like they were supposed to study flooding and 2 cm of rain they'll call it flooding but uh, in germany they'll call this this much water that's flooding in india are mumbai this much water is it's casual 
so it is intensive but it's fun i mean foreign countries always go for it and you can get scholarships good scholarships there are even i am uh, applying for these things like you can get good scholarships there are 100% scholarships that will pay everything you just need to pay for the tickets so these options are ex- available go explore these are always a good op- this it's always a good, good option for uh, applying in a foreign country yeah. and if you want to connect with somebody who is studying abroad and all no you can go to steer me app and you will find such people okay i will quickly send this thing and uh, we will take this last question okay that abhijit has what is a day like in b plan students life and we are called for okay uh, what is an average day like ah okay so if i explain a normal monday it's uh, we wake, wake up at 9 go for a breakfast cuz 9:30 it's our class we just wake up sometimes we take a bath sometimes we don't this is something you'll learn okay uh you'll always look fresh and everything but <laughs> we don't always that's a college like part you wake up you go to class uh there's one uh, theory class in the morning two hours or uh, so ha uh, colleges we have like an hour or two hours ka class and then this break so at 11 o'clock 12 o'clock you're free now you do whatever you want to now again that's what that's where we actually live a life we sometimes i have a whole uh group of friends we call mehfil we'll just come together we'll sing we'll get a guitar and we sing around or we go to the library maybe work on your homework or uh, then this lunch again another then this studio every almost every day we have a studio they're, again they're not teaching you anything they just tell you okay sit in front of us and work because we know you're not going to uh so again we work we put up or put on our laptops some of us are watching movies because we work late night or something we enjoy and then in the evening a lot of us, almost everyone goes out okay the college is empty uh everyone goes out roam around in the city if it's a friday night go to a different city because it's a weekend so we're not coming back for the night uh and then at around 10 11 it starts to hit us oh i have a submission tomorrow morning and that's when we start working so we have the pressure not because just uh, uh it's a lot of work it's more like we don't work in general that's what architect planners are we'll start at 10 or 11 we'll be done by 12 or 2 am in the morning uh and there are always sessions where architects cause architect planners were together okay so i won't segregate much as such we have sessions where okay it's a friday night so we have saturday sunday uh we'll put up a table tennis table uh table tennis ka that uh, table we'll put up we'll put on our laptops and we'll play a game we'll connect together we'll play far cry or the whole night till sunset to sunrise we're playing video games so these things happen and it's always fun so that is the fun part of it okay but uh after enjoying everything it you can go back to work because that's how we feel okay, okay now i've worked and uh, enjoyed a lot i can now sit together and work so it's 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 fun i mean there are tons of m- stories i can tell you more but i think yeah. we are limited to the session right no but obviously every two months you will go out of your city and explore some yeah definitely <laughs> are that's we all go on that. cycles we don't even need uh, like if cause see the best part about we big planning is we know stuff okay how we can get to the cheapest way there are actually things taught to us how one person can go from one city to another in the cheapest way stay in the cheapest place yet eat the best enjoy the best so these are the kind of things like shreya ha so i'm telling you nsp vijayawada so we know how to manage our budgets as well like our parents never know where we went i shouldn't be saying it out loud <laughs> but we parents even don't know where you are you go around you enjoy yourselves you come back and it's still safe and sound so and you learn a lot going out you know uh, personally till 10th grade i had i didn't you know how to go to a cinema and buy a ticket by 12th uh, i mean in my college and all we are going watching a different movie in a different city because the dub movie was not available in our city so this kind of crazy stuff does happen we have once had a session we took up bikes from vijayawada hyderabad it's around uh, 300 km or something or i guess 500 we took up bikes in the morning we go there and by evening we're back so you can always have sessions like that so vijayawada life is chill and i i am pretty sure it's the same for other colleges as well so when we work we work like hell when we enjoy we enjoy like hell so yeah. that's i guess pretty much it yeah i hope you guys found this session helpful yaar hamara thoda we you know uh, extended it a little bit but i hope we answered most of your queries out there 
okay nonetheless if you have a specific thing to discuss you can always uh, get in touch with nirvan we have more mentors from architecture and planning from different colleges and uh, we will share the video of this session as well as the ppt so don't worry about it all right thanks a lot nirvan for joining us and you know this was a great session and uh, i really you know the ppt also was too awesome and it really helped us and uh, but nonetheless yaar i would love if you guys can you know uh, switch on your video for some time and we will take a quick screenshot uh, so that we get you know uh, have some smiling faces wow we already have a few people switching on their uh, you know videos you can just switch on your videos and we'll take a quick screenshot guys yeah it's okay if you don't want to switch on but just for the sake of the screenshot are hum bhi ghar ke we are also in home ha ha aur kya it's the same everywhere no it's just you don't show that face on your do you guys show your face on uh, your online classes i don't think so we we don't we don't honestly i'll be honest with this one yeah we <laughs> don't go to sleep nice enjoy yourself but that's great yaar it was lovely having you guys and i hope you all learned something from the session i'll take a quick screenshot okay and uh, we'll post this on our instagram page also are switch on the video no some people switched it off sharma re sharma re sharma re okay no worries <laughs> yeah chalo thanks a lot for uh, attending this session guys if you liked it uh, you know we will send out a feedback link to you all just provide a feedback over there and you can always talk to mentors at steer me mentors like nirvan people like me and so on and if you want to understand which college you want to go for you can find details on that je uh, link that i had sent you okay if you uh, are confused no need to be confused we will send all of this information on the email that you gave okay so stay tuned for that all right um great and nirvan it was great having you on the session and uh, thank you so much uh, yeah, thanks a lot for taking out time everyone we hope you found this helpful uh have a great day and whoever is filling out je uh, you know um je counseling list right now uh, we would be having a session for you guys also this thursday and we will have a mentor from nit kurukshetra joining us who will explain all the process to you so uh, we will send out a link uh, on mail as well so that you can register for the session all right um, thank you guys uh, do recommend steer me to your friends and family uh, because we are doing this for you all students only uh, and have a great day yeah all right guys bye bye thank you bye